to start this, I have two experts that I brought with me. Come on in. And there he is. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know who he is? Yeah. Well, if you know anything about barbecue in America, you know who Kevin Bloodsoe is. So I'm talking about doing some world-class barbecue, and Kevin has agreed to put his name on it. So you can wow. say you have oh Kevin Bloodsoe barbecue here. Oh, that's so and people cool. will come for miles for his barbecue. <laughs> I've seen it. Kevin's two restaurants just won number one and number two for the best barbecue in all of Los Angeles. He knows downtown LA food. Tonight for stress test, I'm putting you in the kitchen. I want you to learn from him. How we doing, Chef? You know, the fryer is cool, but uh, it just hasn't been cleaned out in a long, long time. When the last time you cleaned it? We cleaned it, what was it, last week? Yeah, last week. You cleaned the bottom of it? Yes. Where's the spoon? Let's see what we got, Kev. You haven't cleaned the debris out of it. Oh, it's the worst I've ever seen. That's bad. Clean your freaking fryer. Be responsible, for Christ's sakes. Kevin, don't teach him a freaking thing until they do this. Don't lie to me again, Richard. I'm not lying to you. Don't no, I'm not. Don't Is he a liar? He's a liar. You're a liar. Uh -huh. You are a failure, man. And I'm not sure I can fix you. Either you're an idiot or you're a liar. No, I'm not an idiot. That fryer probably ain't been cleaned out since the early 70s. So I'm gonna get rich big ass in there and get him on his knees and get that fryer drained and cleaned out today before we cook anything in that kitchen. Gonna work up a sweat today. See, that's all that debris in there. Rich man, I don't think he's a kitchen guy. I think he's been at the kitchen table, but he ain't been in the kitchen. You gotta speed it up a little bit too, man, okay? If she see you working a certain way, she gonna work a certain kind of way. John knows things that I don't know, like this. You know, it's, it's, it's common sense, really. So I'm gonna learn the business as best as I can and, 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 and run it correct. What the f why is my oil dirty? It's boot you know? Got it cleaned up, okay. That's what I'm talking about right there, okay? Let's get that oil in there, man, get to work. Yeah, I heard the chicken wing is so dry, you had to eat them in the rain, so uh, we just gotta get in there and give them a little help. We're gonna do some fried chicken with a little twist. Quick to put out in volume, a bar food, but it's real good. I seen the chicken that you had last night. It was kind of horrible. Yeah. But we finna get down with you right now on some real chicken wings. We got some nice size wings right here. Now, the chicken's been sitting overnight in buttermilk, but the buttermilk is kind of like a, a brine on it a little bit, okay? Gonna seal the juices in there. This chicken ain't dry now. Only one can make it dry is you. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I'm not finna show you a dry wing. I'm finna show you a nice, juicy wing. I like a little cayenne pepper in my fried chicken. A little onion powder too, okay? You gotta have a little tang to it, all right? Okay. Get up in here, man, get that stuff mixed in there. The grease has to be at temperature, okay? The wings that we will make before will always turn out dry. These are really nice and juicy. These are real wings. Nice big size. Thanks, Dad. Tell me what you think. I'm gonna put some south in your mouth. Is that all right? Wow. Think you can move those? All day. That's right, man. The new food is amazing. You know, my bars have always been pretty high. In this company, they've been really low. So it's time for me to raise up that bar and, and, and prove to John that, that I can do it, that I can make it happen. How we doing? We're doing good, man. We good? We open in 10 minutes, okay? Okay. Let's do it. We're ready to go. Hey, boo. Yeah. Reason why we got you in here, man, because you're going to be the one out there presenting the food. We don't want no customers complaining about nothing no more. John wants to turn this place into a known destination for great beer. So today, we're going to pair some great food with some great beer. We ain't serving no raw burgers no more, all right? All right. We're doing a steak sandwich now. Oh, OK. Easy, man, quick. All Takes right. about five minutes to cook. Nice beer, good steak sandwich. Don't get no better than that. Hey, well, taste that steak for me, man. Tell me what you think about it. Really good, man. Really good as <laughs> Going into this relaunch, I'm feeling pumped. You know, my family's good. We're getting a new bar. Our food is great. You know, I'm just really excited to see how tomorrow goes. All right. All right, baby. Kevin Bloodshot, in a world of barbecue, it's no better. I heard you like the cue. I like your attitude. We're going to get in that kitchen. And then, uh, get you ready, man. This is my baby right here. All right. John's barbecue, he didn't have bad barbecue. We just had to tweak a few things. I'm here to perfect it. These hardworking people, Youngstown, they deserve the best, and that's what a Royal Oak is gonna give them from here on out. Chris, I just go with some horseback pepper. That gives me a map not right. to over-season my brisket. Right. So when I put kosher salt, you can see it. Okay. 
get this on the pit, 15 hours, chill out, get a couple cocktails, go watch the cowboy guys. I like it. You like that? <laughs> You didn't have brisket on the menu, and you can make a lot of things with it. We can use it for sliced brisket, sliced brisket sandwiches, burnt ends, and we use it in our baked beans. So there's no waste. We're using the whole brisket from the top to the bottom. We're using it all. So I got to tell you guys, this is not the greatest market. We got a serious challenge here to get people to come to this part. There's no liquor license, beer only. Kev, there's no kitchen here. Is that right? There's nothing. There's not a piece of stainless steel in the whole damn place. Oh, wow. Uh... I ordered a smoker because I know you're coming. OK, OK. So I need you to do some magic, buddy. Oh, no problem. Call me Mr. Magic. I'm here for you. This is what John got for you guys, man, you from see? his friends at Cook Shack. Got you a nice little smoker, wow. man. We would have put it inside, but that damn kitchen's so small. If you right. stick a key through the door, you stab everybody in there. <laughs> but it's not an oven for roasting no damn TV dinners. You guys going to be pulling off works of art. Wow. I mean, I can make a chicken taste like a ham. We're going to make you guys a quick sausage sandwich, OK? What we got here, y'all, we got an all beef sausage. And we're going to load them up into your smoker. That's awesome. I'm going to open this up. Watch this smoke. Woo! Did you wow. see that? Oh, my god. Put it on there, and that's it, baby. Go on about your business. So this is huge for me, man. Seeing the smoker, it honestly almost brought me to tears, man. And then it did bring me to tears <laughs> once you open it with the smoke. I'm going to show you how we're going to plate these up tonight, OK? OK. Those is one of your red hots, OK? Got some holla at chapinos right here. Got a couple of onions. Hit it with a little sauce. They can get it whatever they want, OK? Right. And that's it. What that took, every bit of five minutes? Order up. Sauce is ready to go, nice and quick. Oh, it's really good. So tonight, man, I'm gonna be back here with you. Okay. We're gonna be getting these sausage out. You still gotta kind of monitor this baby. Right. But this is like having two employees. Okay. That's excellent. I want to see exactly how they do tonight. Because if you can't make a hot dog and get it out tonight, you damn sure can't make no brisket or no chicken or nothing like that and get that out. Last night was pretty fun, huh? Yeah. A little crazy, huh? <laughs> now it's our time to shine, okay? Awesome. So I'm gonna be teaching them how to make a signature chicken that's perfect for this bar. I'm gonna teach them how to rub it down, put it in the fridge for the next day, easy going. We finna make y'all a special rub, JD. Little seasoning salt, quarter cup of granulated garlic, quarter cup of smoked paprika, little JD's revenge in there, little cayenne. Yeah, man. Little cumin, little turmeric. Smell that. Ooh, that smells good. That's barbecue chronic. You roll this up and you smoke it. <laughs> y'all put some gloves on right quick, and we gonna rub some chicken down. I like to rub a little mustard first, and then you come in with your rub, and rub them down. Don't be scared of it. And chicken legs remind me of this girl in New... Oh, never mind. I'll tell you about that later on. <laughs> Season it up. Same on the other side. That's it. I'm ready for the smoker. Oh, oh my wow. Goodness. Look at that. <laughs> Every day, you're going to load this baby all the way up. Go on about your business, J.D. Ashley, you can handle that chicken, because it's on you tomorrow. Woo! That's my chicken! Woo! Order up. As soon as they open up that smoker door, but the chicken just started going off the hook right then. Red smoke chicken, everybody. Chicken? Two chickens? Oh, you get a lot of chicken. Kev, she's doing good. I like stress test. Ashley's back here and she's getting these orders out. Ashley, you got to move a little quicker. The biggest night of the year, you moving just nonchalant. I got to stay on her a little bit. You know, you got to move quick in this kitchen. You know, I'm a big dude, but I know how to slide in the kitchen. For the kitchen, John brings in legendary pit master Kevin Bloodzone. Kevin can turn any culinary cadet into a barbecue captain. So, Kev, we're in the heart of Texas, barbecue country. That's why I wanted you here. So this bar is called the Brick Tavern, and it was bought eight years ago by Charlene, near Charlene, having a drink at the bar. Okay. To her own admission, she says she went through a midlife crisis and went and bought a bar. Oh, wow. So she's in a real estate business. Her real estate office is next door. It actually has a door. It connects to the bar, believe it or not. Have you all done your shot yet? You want one? Hell yeah. <laughs> and then Demo is your man in the kitchen up there. OK. I mean, it looks to me like he's used the knife before a little bit, Yeah, right? oh, yeah. He got a little skills with the knife. Look at those burger patties. Right? Alaskan burgers. Right, they're all white. They're yeah, freezer burns. Yeah. What is that? Barbecue sauce? Chocolate sauce? Steak sauce? What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, look how hard them things turn over. Bam. Look at it. You person. see the bounce? <laughs> it's so frozen. Oh, oh, man. Oh, Lord, man. That burger. Look at that. Oh. oh, man. And it's dirty. Look at, the, look at the film on the fries. This place is horrendous. Something is wrong with these fries. What are they doing to these that makes them look that way? I don't know. Look at that. 
What does that say? Pen eight. eight. Pen eight. Oh my God. What That's is That's five weeks ago. Yeah. So what is that? Is that protein? It looked like some kind of meat. That looks like meat to me. What the hell is he doing with, look at that. That's been in that cup for a month. If that's meat, we can't let them eat that. No way, man. Let's go in there together and stop it. this. This is Kevin Bledsoe, the greatest barbecue chef in America. Kevin and I were watching this on camera. I couldn't let you serve this to somebody. I didn't know. You didn't know? How long have you owned this place? Nine. Nine years or so. So we, really what you're saying to me is, John, I've owned this place for nine years. I didn't give a shit enough to learn and not get people sick in nine years. Would you eat this? Wouldn't you love to see her eat it? A little bit. Yeah, let's do it. Go ahead, buddy. Make this one for me. I want you to eat it. Um, now I'm not eating it. This is funny to you? No, it's not funny. I mean, it's horrible, man. I mean, I, I just watch you. I can see you move around in the kitchen. I can tell you know a little bit about kitchen, but where's your pride, D? You gonna serve people some old ass food like that? You as an owner, you don't come in, the first thing you check is check your dates or anything. And then I seen you out there yelling at him. No one yelled at him because you don't know what's going on. You the owner. Cause I would be in here yelling at your ass. You gave me that shit that slurred from a month ago. What y'all think about this? Wait a minute, wait, y'all ain't said nothing? Oh my nice. God. <laughs> These people are so lucky. I mean, we're giving them one of the best barbecue smoker trailers around. The Double Barrel Deluxe Barbecue Trailer from Lang. I'm just gonna show you how we get out in blood toes. I just hit it with a little mustard. The blood toes rubbed. That's ready to go on the smoker for a 15 hour smoke bath. Wait, I've been smoking brisket to break in their pit for 15 hours. And that's what we're going to introduce tonight. Things that can be done ahead of time and you can get out quick. Mac and cheese, some baked beans. Fresh today. You understand what I, I mean? Understand. So, you know. I understand. Your customers are going to just go crazy about your food now, okay? okay? Oh, I'm giddy with excitement, really, with looking at the new smoker out there. I love barbecue. And I'm a big fan of Kevin Blood, so it's honestly, it's mind blowing a little bit because it's, it's something I've always wanted to learn from the best, but never had the chance to. Guarantee when you take that out to your customers, they gonna love that. What's How's up, what's going? up? How's it going? Hey. How you doing? Doing well. Nice night last night. It was exciting. For you. You! I never even seen you back here the whole night. Straight off the bat, we know that shit they've been doing does not work. Let me do that cool work. Look at that. What does that say? And a clearly no type of systems, no type of nothing. Cause everything was in the microwave. Pull your phone out, put it on your stopwatch. You're gonna do your old way of a pulled pork sandwich. You ready? Yep. Go. I can't believe that Texans have been letting them get away all this time with a pulled pork sandwich that's done in a crock pot. Two minute 40. We gonna give them some real, real barbecue that put them into the fight in Texas barbecue ring. That's it. 12 seconds. Okay, now your new pulled pork sandwich. Begin by toasting your brioche buns on the flat top. Then add two slices of brisket or four ounces of pulled pork on top and drizzle with barbecue sauce. Add three ounces of coleslaw on top. Close the lid. This is your char bar sandal. Stop your pot. One minute, six seconds. So now let's compare. Which one would your customers want? Okay, you guys want to come try that? Yes. Oh, Kevin's food was amazing. Now I finally have something I can be proud of and serve people. No words can explain how much I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all. We done prepped. It's time for y'all to rep. Yeah. Okay? okay? So let's go do this. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Thank you. you know, these guys here, they didn't get through it so good, Cal. Yeah. I've done a lot of them with you, but this is incredible. And I, you know, I just lost my brother, uh, almost two years ago, and my brother was a vet in the Navy and Marines. Wow. So I'm gonna take this one personal and do him proud and bring some of the best barbecue down to these people in the world. That's why I wanted to have you here, but I'm glad you feel that way. So take a look at this place. So there is Marty. Hey, Marty. Okay. He's the commanding officer. Okay. And his wife, Sue, has been key behind the bar. Uh, over here. Right? Then there's Tish, the kitchen manager. Oh, already one of my yep. pet peeves. She didn't cook that to a T all the way through. That drives me crazy. crazy. It's rubbery and yep, does know. have the right consistency. Yeah. That meat looks pretty dry, doesn't it? We are in the desert. <laughs> <laughs> Had some taco yeah. to my lettuce. You know, they're not thinking right. of the ratios no. on that. And a great taco is all about the ratios yeah. of lettuce, yeah. tomato, to yeah. cheese, to meat. 
You don't get that ratio right, no matter how good the individual ingredients are. Taco, you're gonna bite through that cold lettuce. You can barely taste that meat. Yep. Thank you very much. You're welcome, darling. Did you guys order dinner? I think I'm scared, but. <laughs> All right, so Kev, here's what I think we should do. We know we want to do barbecue. Obviously, it's working for them. We got to teach them how to do blood so barbecue and do it right. We do. If we give them good food that's hip, yeah. right, we can make it youthful. We can give them a decent cocktail program, but we got to make this place look decent, yeah. Kev. Yeah. So, can you get protein, spices, everything you need here by tomorrow? You ain't say nothing but a word, John. It'll be here, baby. I'm ready to go. Excellent. To start this, I have two experts that I brought with me. Come on in. And there he is. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you know who he is? Yeah. Well, if you know anything about barbecue in America, you know who Kevin Bloodsoe is. So I'm talking about doing some world-class barbecue, and Kevin has agreed to put his name on it. So you can wow. say you have oh Kevin Bloodsoe barbecue here. Oh, that's so and people cool. will come for miles for his barbecue. <laughs> I've seen it. Let me just say thank you for your service, and I am so honored to be here. What's up, y'all? How we doing? How you doing? You good? Oh, yeah, we're good. I know you see this beautiful gift that Bar Rescue and Lane sent you guys. Anybody that knows barbecue know how Lane gets down. They make some of the best smokers around. So we are setting these people up. Blood Souls brisket is a staple. You guys are going to have access to my brisket rub. That's, I'm going to be sending them. In fact, I'm going to set you guys up for six months on me because nice. I like oh, wow. y'all so much, all right? That's, so. that's awesome. But I like to get the sides and everything, too. We're about to put these on for about a 15-hour uh, smoke bath. Fat side up. OK. You know, you want that fat to render down in that meat. So we got your briskets going. That's only the first step. Right. Got a few more tricks of the trade I'm going to show you guys. We're going to get in this kitchen. So Y'all going to be ready to go, baby. All righty. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. The good thing about barbecue is that you can do it ahead of time. This brisket was done on your smoker last night. I broke your damn smoker in for you. And see this? It's still gonna be juicy. See how it cuts like butter? Just glistens. Little mac on there. Get some fries on there. Warm sauce. I can't stand no cold ass sauce on my barbecue. That's gonna, that's your signature. Man, low and slow like Post 54. Yep. Yeah. Y'all ready to dig in that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What oh flavor? Isn't that good? That is the best brisket I've ever had. And it was done right here. I think this is going to put us on the map for about a thousand miles around. That food was totally awesome. It looked like a piece of art. I have never had such good brisket in my entire life. I can't believe it, it was cooked here. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.